Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So we're looking at this launch C Reader 5, C Reader 3008 Plus, OBD2 full functions, DTC query, multiple languages, software upgrade, graphical display of two data streams. We're gonna do an unboxing and also a uh, full review of this. Um, if you guys have this, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether this is a decent OBD2 reader or not. Apparently, it has features include OBD full functions and support the protocols. Um, if you guys basically, if you guys have a vehicle um, 1997, 1998 or older, you can use this OBD2 port. Port read I am readiness uh, support read live data requests freeze frame info support read fault code clear fault codes request our old oxygen sensor monitoring test results request onboard monitoring last results for specific monitoring as you guys can see support dc um essentially this is like a general obd2 scanner i think it's going for about 59 bucks on Amazon probably maybe get it a little bit cheaper. There might be like a 20% discount because of the holidays. You might be able to get it cheaper on uh, other places. But um, I got to tell you, I got to tell you guys, um, it is pretty big for a general um, OBD2 scanner. I'll let you guys know that. Uh, normally, the smaller ones that I've had, ones that I've bought from um, Walmart generally they're a bit smaller but apparently uh, this is a pretty big as you guys can see it comes with the um, info uh, the info uh, booklet and um, and generally speaking I gotta tell you um, I actually preferred tethered OBD2 scanners instead of Bluetooth OBD2 scanners. Um, the fact that it's big means that it has a bigger screen. You can see it um, better uh, and uh, it has a better feel than, than smaller ones. And I'm just assuming that this is um, something that's, that's better. All right, guys. So packaging these days, guys. I got to tell you, sometimes it's just hard taking uh, taking it out of the packaging and, and unwrapping it and unwrapping the stuff, that all that stuff. But anyway, let's move on. This is what it looks like. Uh, simple buttons, big buttons. There's an OK button, a back button, and I think this is an instant messaging button up sideways and down. Um, as you guys can see, it has... And what is this? An OBD? I don't think it's a C. But uh, no other buttons on the sides or uh, the back. And I've been noticing because I've noticed that they're coming with these, um, uh, what you call it? These these little things that actually plug up this thing. But it's good, man. It 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 keeps out the dirt and all that stuff. All right, guys, so this is first plugging it in. Um, as you guys can see, diagnose. And uh, this is not specifically for any specific car. This is a generalized. It, I don't think it will do specific readouts. But I think for the most part, it will do the readouts that you want for like um, for check engine lights etc etc i gotta tell you these cheaper obd2 scanners are the ones that i use the most i don't even use the ones that i have that have all the features because they're very complicated and annoying the simple ones will give you essentially what you um need like 99 percent of the time 99 percent of the time so let's start the, okay so it's going into uh, my system uh, MIL is off, DTCs in this E0, data stream supported 30, readiness not supported 2. <sighs> what does this mean? All right, guys, so as you guys can see, mill status, I'm not quite sure what that is, but DTCs in this ECU is, I think DC, T, DTCs is the code, which is 0, readiness completed are the monitors completed eight readiness not completed zero readiness not supported is two if you guys don't know anything about this stuff um this is for inspection 
all right uh you want to get at least seven of the eight completed all right you do not want a more than one incomplete so this read it read it out um exactly as what's in my vehicle um currently because i have no check engine lights no codes no issues whatsoever i am driving a toyota prius and um, i'm impressed that they actually read that because prius is a little bit more complicated but not for the system for the um, obd2 scanner but anyway obviously it has uh you can read the codes if there are codes i know there's no codes and i just went through that there's no codes you can erase the codes if there is something to erase um, and it monitors uh, I am readiness tells you the readiness of um, the um, of, of the monitors and um, I read that I just read that data stream you can freeze frame it O2 sensor test on board monitoring evap system vehicle info and um, ECU one for the vehicle info and it actually let me see calibration let me see what it does let me see maybe okay okay so so um it gives you a couple of choices one of the choices does give me information on my vehicle let's go on and move on to other stuff evap test and uh see if it does anything for the evap test it will leak fail I don't think that's true guys i never had any issues with my evap leak and i have no codes for it but um maybe because it's a prius and it's not supported um you know not not a big deal onboard monitoring what is this now this is my first time using this guy so i'm i'm just gonna just go through this with you i'm sure you guys just want to know um what the um what this actually does but as you guys can see it actually does give you um info on your calc converter your egr your vvt monitor if you guys have that in your vehicle the purge flow monitor misfire monitor data let me see <sighs> obviously um for the most part of you guys have if it, if it comes up positive for this it means that there's a check engine light on your vehicle all right so let's move on you can erase codes ims i am readiness and uh let me just get out of this so there's a battery test and it's entering the system uh all right guys i'm not gonna do the battery test we all know this this probably will work um review dtc review review um look up and uh, I believe the lookup is if you actually put in, uh, it, it'll, it might actually first range give you that information as far as, um, and if you can, I guess you guys can't actually print this, help, setup, info, um, language. Okay, you guys know what that is, okay? So that's pretty much it, all right? If you guys are looking to buy some like this, um, it's, 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 it's pretty simple as far as this OBD2 scanner is concerned. Um, here's what I like about it. I like that it's big. I like that the buttons are big. Um, I like that it, it gets straight to the point. Like a lot of OBD2 scanners that are selling in this price range, you don't have like um, 10 million things. You don't need to select your vehicle. Um, the year, the model, the make, this is just automatic. It goes through your system. Um, very, very easy, not complicated. Uh, like I said, if you guys have this, uh, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether this is a decent OBD2 scanner for the price. Again, it's selling for about 50 bucks. I think there's like a $20 discount on it. I'm gonna put a link um, in the description section if you guys are interested in picking this up. Um, aside from this, if you guys know of, uh, if you guys like launch, if you guys have launch products, um, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether um, this is a decent brand or not. I know this is a brand that um, in uh, more recent years have been in this in this um, OBD2 field in perhaps um, automotive, um, other more automotive um, stuff. 
anyway that's my review drop a comment in the comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff appreciate your time guys take care